A storm at sea has left Horace Del Rosa, the lone survivor of a shipwreck, as he voyages to join the Crusades. Sakano in Nabitum. Isokano? Taken prisoner, he is made a slave in Akeshia, the land of the enemy, whose language and culture are completely unknown to him. What is this place? The Iron Desert. I'm Horus, from Arnos. From Tynes, specifically. What's your name? Jerome, son of Kieran, of the Mojave clan. <laughs> Ex-gladiator and fellow slave Jerome helps him to survive, but they're separated when Horus discovers powers he didn't know he had. Stop! They don't know what to do with you. You're a slave and a foreigner, but you also have Zoana, so you can't be a slave. What's a Zoana? <laughs> the power that our masters wield. They call it Zoana. Powers which draw the attention of the queen, winning Horus freedom and status, and sparking hatred in the hearts of traitors within the royal court. Sire, Chancellor Unagan says these rooms have been provided to you by the queen. You are to remain here until Her Majesty calls for you, but you are her guest. I am Alira. I'll be your servant while you stay in the palace. Shall I help you remove your clothes? Akeshia's politics are not unlike her myths. Polite and cultured on the surface, but teeming with danger underneath. Pardon me, Your Excellence, but why am I here? I wanted to measure you for myself. To evaluate you without all the prying eyes of the court. I want to know what kind of man you are to wield such power. When we were flying over Omikor, Byleth unleashed a storm against the defenders. It was horrible. Entire buildings collapsed as light. Did you say she unleashed a storm? If there's even a chance that Lord Estopta and the Queen can control the Chaos Storms, I have to make sure they can't use that power. It would change everything. No army would be able to stand against them. What can I do to help? Horus must navigate the treacherous waters of Akeshian politics and, with the help of Alira, a lovely spy within the palace, find a path to freedom for Jiram and the Empire's cast of slaves, victims of a system in which all men and women must lose their lives or live in chains. The choice of blood or iron. Enter the enchanted and dangerous world contained in John Sprunk's Book of the Black Earth. Now available in graphic audio.